Well, we trace the Coca-Cola Amatol origins as a bottler back to about 1968 when we first acquired the franchise in Western Australia. And since then, we've built up our bottling operations. We used to be in a lot of other different kinds of businesses as well. But the Coca-Cola Amatol of today is first and foremost Coca-Cola franchisee. We have franchises across six markets, so a main market here, Australia. We also have Indonesia, uh, New Zealand, PNG, Fiji, Samoa. And then we have uh, a couple of other pretty important businesses as well, SPC Ardmona, which is a fruit processing business with a very long, proud heritage based in Shepparton in Victoria. And we also have our alcohol and coffee business where we have a number of alcohol partners such as Beam Suntory and our coffee business, which um, is the Grinders brand, is the main brand there, which you would, which most people would probably know. And also we're involved in brewing in Fiji. We own Fiji Breweries, which is the leading brewer in Fiji. Well, financial results for FY15 were pleasing for CCA. We grew our revenues by around about 3.1% to 5.1 billion. EBIT came in at just over 660 million, so that was up about 1.4%. Our NPAT was up 4.8% at 393 million. And on a statutory basis, uh, NPAT was actually up 44.6% because Pleasingly, in 2015, we didn't have the significant items um, that we've had in recent prior years. So overall, a good result. Well, for the next 12 months, um, we are aiming to take another step towards that uh, target that we have of mid-single digit EPS growth. And we'll do that in a way that is um, you know, steady and measured. Um, certainly um, the rate at which we're going to be able to do that is going to depend on the success of some of our top line growth initiatives in Australia and also the Indonesian economy, which is something that you know we can't control. Um, but we are definitely aiming to take another step there. We'll also continue to maintain a, a good healthy dividend payout, so in excess of 80%. We'll manage our capex fairly carefully. We've got capex in Australia um, pretty well contained. We've invested in that business very well over recent years, so we don't need to uh, invest particularly heavily over the next little while, which means it's a very good, strong cash flow generator for us. And Indonesia, of course, we will invest and we look forward to continuing to add more capacity there. That, that investment is effectively funded already because the Coca-Cola company are now 30% owner of our Indonesian business and they put in US 500 million uh, just uh, about one year ago. So that business is has got a really good strong balance sheet which means it's going to be able to fund its own growth for a number of years to come.